At this something I have to video record. Uh, really, really funny stuff happened to me. I got a girl here. Uh, supposedly is from South Korea, right? You know. And so... Um, it was a situation that with this girl here that you see, that this is a real, real central intelligence agency girl who was involved with the British royals. In this case, since 1995. And I have to say I liked her. Everything okay, nice. But there is a problem with it. This is all good. This is all nice. This is all nice. All very, very nice. Um, this is what I think it's. I think it's in France. Let's see that stuff. Actually, it should be even in Spain, yep. This is a place where we would come with the British Royals. We wouldn't be coming any, any place because I didn't go any place. I was hijacked, abducted for the purpose of torture. Which British foremost, on behalf of Germany, literally, have used together with Americans to profit from within, to establish their geopolitical goals through this crime against me since 1995 this place here this here this place she somehow wanted to remain here i don't know what she was doing she says right there freelancer and stuff and such i really don't know it appeared to me like she was writing, she was doing some writing and stuff like this. I'm not going to go and, and uh, concentrate myself into this because I already video recorded the stuff about her. Um, I can't go over and over and over again for every person. The thing is that that's interesting stuff. Uh, I was joking. When this girl here contacted me, uh, but this is not such a joke here, because the two exercised together, and they were French also in this stuff. Emmanuel Macron was also involved in this crime. In the dream about abduction, that's going to be like... Uh, this girl, known as Julie Harper, orchestrated inside of my room that... It's going to be like that she's going to contact me like this. And Macron, French, insisted it's going to be like, a, it's going to be portrayed to the people like the last message to the world before I was ab hijacked, abducted. And then it was Prince William that appeared in this clusterfuck paranoid schizophrenia stuff. If you like. Based on which I was thrown inside a psychiatric hospital in 2013. Mm. I don't... Uh, I gotta be very, very careful with my choice of words right now. Oh, can you imagine to be tortured... Till you pass out on numerous occasions through the issues like this, so you can be accused of being paranoid schizophrenic without your even displaying any kind of paranoid schizophrenia. They basically refer to the paranoid schizophrenia literally to their violence, literally refer to ability to throw somebody into the psychiatric constitution, uh, institution deny one the right to the opinion of a second psychiatrist 
accuse one of the stuff that's got nothing to do with it, like doesn't even know who he is, what his name is, what year it is, where he is, that kind of stuff I'm talking about. During which interview in Sakesh Hospital down at Poly in 2017, I have actually required or requested from the psychiatric stuff, from the people who came to interview me, people who have written down my obituary in 2013, to eventually audio record for my sake the conversation, which they have declined in my way by saying they don't have the right to do that. Do you understand this bullshit? Using lawyers, attorneys, to literally assign to me as defense lawyers, attorneys, to literally write extra non-existing crimes through which they started to communicate with prosecutors on how I have committed stuff that prosecutors have not even accused me of but that I should be somehow pardoned anyway. Do you understand the degree of violence? Talking about to you, Prince William, British royals, Emmanuel Macron, the French politic, the German politic. Do you understand the degree of violence that your leadership that you provide for the European Union through the war on Europe, through Ukraine? together with Russia, do you understand even degree of violence I'm talking about here? And you dare to actually go and what now? Use a crime like this to do what? To gain sympathy? To make me maybe even laugh? To do what? Prince William insisted further during this schizophrenic moments of his lunacy violence that he boiled himself in together with the Kate that was giggling. <laughs> he insisted further, he insisted to me, they got me to some next to some woman or some that I questioned them on why they have why have they done this to me? And he was like found a case, he was act like Stupid, like, to a Kate, yeah, what I am guilty of, huh? getting you a family and this and that, you know, in that sense. You know, you watch that video about top-notch idiots, that's the style that they drive, like, a, you know, like a joker, that's the joker style, they drive people insane. They murder through the psychiatry, through the psychiatric violence, brutality, people like this, involving hijackings abductions, terror, death threats to drive people insane into a joker style, into like, hey, hey, like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, we, yeah, well, yeah. Thanks, brother. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's true. Eh? You got me a family. What the fuck I need in real life now after I'm being abjack, hijacked somewhere to the other side of the world, right? And they targeted Korea. They targeted a number of other Asian countries. And in this case, the Asian girl was involved in this crime. But it was portrayed together with this Julie Harper, who insisted when they had me inside the room, and that was probably like in 2015, that she's going to participate during this conversation for my safety's sake. And so it was the first thing I got was this message here from this girl. They just sent me a request. And basically... I mean, joking about this stuff. And uh, the question turned into if I have a gun. If I'm going to fight without the gun. If it's going to be the war here. Uh, and I keep joking about it. About this stuff. A Chinese have published the hotel they had me in. The hotel came to life. Not the hotel, but this room came to life. They warned me about this stuff. 
that I have to be careful with. This room was already came to life in like in 2012. Yeah, and they presented to me that, you know, you're going to have this as a proof and ha ha and this and that. And I didn't have no idea what they were talking about this stuff. Actually, this, this hotel came to life already way before. This hotel came to life already like in 2008. Uh, what you see through the balcony, that's like a new construction, what you're about to see. That's like an alien, they told me. That's you, that's alien. And it's some kind of an Ultraman, like a joke and so on. So I look on the internet, and I observe this Ultraman. It's, it's like really, really funny, actually, stuff that I like. I like joking, you know. But it doesn't matter how positive or how, how you want to be open to life, laugh about, uh, it's all get something on your way, something like really, really idiotic that is, after all, not so funny. You know, you destroy me 30 years of life, man, through the force of employment and even psychiatry, because the torture was not enough. And with the torture, you targeted my heart. You wanted to destroy my cardiovascular health, which you did at great extent. You involved cancer, combustive issues, as much as possible damage to my cardiovascular health. There's something funny about it. Now, if somebody's going to shoot you, uh, and for this, yes, with the Julie Harper, as you see right there, that this is my friend, insisted me, I'm going to participate in this. Julie Harper was nowhere near. Look at that. Look, there is hundreds of messages from other people, from all kinds of people. Nowhere near, anywhere. And all of a sudden, when I sent to this girl message, I am communicating with her, all of a sudden, this Julie Harper found herself in the first place. Because it was a few days ago, Julie Harper, all of a sudden, after... It says here, Sunday, on Sunday, she did. It's today, Friday. Uh, replied me, I'm sorry, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. What I asked her about information, when I inquired about information concerning British Royals, look at the date here. That was January 26, 2022. So, 2022, January, that this is like, what, over a year ago, she would not even reply, she wouldn't even bother to answer, to communicate with me anything at all. Now, on Sunday, all of a sudden, she answers me this, and today, when I communicated with this girl, she was nowhere in my messenger, this Julie Harper, anywhere on the site, absolutely anywhere. My message, which I wanted to communicate to this girl would not appear here. And I continue to write her messages without knowing that the one who intercepted for her Facebook intercepted my messages literally through her profile. Look at that. I'm sorry, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. That was on Sunday. I didn't bother with her. Today, however, I was sure I was communicating with this girl here. Born in Slovenia, but I really love you guys, all of you. I'm Ultra Aqua Spider-Man. Chinese hotel Ultraman news was released today. Right here. You can see one. It dates right here. Uh -huh. Okay, they remove one. Okay, I did click on one. Now it's gone, but it doesn't matter. The video is from January the 23rd, 2023. But this news about this Aquaman, about this stuff, disappeared now. See more today. This shit appeared today. It says January. Okay, January over like a month ago and stuff like that. Not really. 
This news at Microsoft appeared today. It was served to me today. They completely, completely procalculate. They completely, completely procalculate every millimeter. Look, MSN.com, the largest Ultraman Shanghai China. You see? They completely procalculate how they want to portray what is this. This is another news. It doesn't matter that stuff, okay? What, I, what I'm saying to you, this is the way it is. This is how I got to this Ultraman news about this hotel. This hotel was started, I think, like in 2008. I think it's when they completed whatever they did. Maybe even 2006. Yeah, I think it was like, uh, I'm not even sure. They, was it this the building, the new one they built? I didn't even look. The building I would have to see, or was it? Um, I know that 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 it was like 2004, something like this. Already was this hotel, and so this one here insisted that. This one here insisted that I'm going to be hijacked that I am going to be hijacked to another part of the world, Asia, but that I don't have to worry about because she's going to intercept the message. And so the Facebook makes sure that instead of my having ability to write to this girl here, which is from Korea, from Bhutan, I would write to a Julie Harper instead. So she would get the message exactly according to mk Archer. so what is the truth the truth is that american diplomacy the truth is that the buckingham palace doesn't like asians too much the german diplomacy doesn't really like the rest of the world they just want to handle their affairs here inside of the european union the truth is that yesterday i published a video about vladimir putin negotiating with the nato he was ready to step he he was ready to step to the Russia inside of the NATO in 2000, started to negotiate about his entry into NATO in 2000. The truth is, however, this did not go with his mafia in Moscow, the plan to enter NATO. It didn't go along with his apparatchiks in Moscow. They wanted the war. It's not only Vladimir Putin that's doing this. He's got a whole apparatus of criminals, gangsters behind him in Moscow. And they wanted a war with uh, Ukraine. To have a war with Ukraine, it was unacceptable for NATO. How the hell could they possibly portray this war to Ukraine through the NATO? It's impossible. So. Vladimir Putin started to negotiate literally with the Prince Charles, now King Charles, right here inside of this room, with British, about Germans, about how the war is going to be run on Ukraine. And they came up with a plan to use me further for divide and conquer to push Ukraine in some kind of light of the Nazism, which is eventually non existing. But what will be used to misrepresent Ukraine to the world. And that's what the British did. They went ahead and they espionage, did everything possible, sending me for eavesdropping to Ukraine and were creating all kinds of racially, ethnically charged incidents throughout Ukraine. And engaged people in violence against me, based on which Ukrainians would even get money, like everywhere else. Like in China, like in Britain, like in the United States of America, like in Slovenia, like everywhere else, whoever committed himself, whether it be French in France or Italian in Italy or whatever, he would get money for it. Money for the torture clips. A lot of people did not stop short from entering NATO together with his British, German, American allies, newly founded friendship. But he got a hold of Asian countries. 
through suggestion in China on how it a new Nazi war waged on a people on Asian people in Russia. And contrary to Ukrainians, that this is happening in Ukraine, that they are discriminating against the Ukrainian people, against the Asian people, and so on. Managed to somehow convince Asian people that Russia is extension of Asian people to Europe, all the way to Europe, and it's their best interest to help Russia in war against the people of Ukraine. And they started this circle of death together with the NATO against Ukraine. Here is the whole truth about what exactly happened in war against people of Ukraine. This is the truth. People of Ukraine, yes, people of this world, these are the people that rejected Nazism, didn't want to see themselves, not even in a war against Russia, absolutely not, and got punished severely for it. First, for giving nuclear weapons to the Russia. Ukraine was heavily armed with nuclear weapon, nuclear weaponry country. This was a superpower, nuclear superpower, if you didn't know about Ukraine. But they gave up, they gave up the weapons and they returned them to the Russia. Not the return them. They gave them to the Soviet. To the after the post-Soviet legacy, they voluntarily gave them to the Russia. Never anticipated that Russia is going to go and mass genocide at the people of Ukraine. And Vladimir Putin, together with the NATO, attempted to create a picture, which upon the sale. NATO countries such as United States of America, Great Britain, Germany went ahead and reportedly made sale to Russia through the trade with the minerals, with the oil, with the gas, with petroleum. Next to that deal, in exchange for modernization of the Russian military, it was also land of Ukraine that would be traded between what Ukraine have chosen to become part of, therefore European Union and NATO, and uh, Russia. This is how this shit was completed. For me to be completely, completely exact about the war in Ukraine, and it's a war that keeps changing. I have no idea how the Germans which are using tanks on both sides of the borders, inside of the Ukraine and outside of the Ukraine, to put a picture of their own, are going to come out from this situation. They've done absolutely to hurt me as much as possible, but they are not winning it. My health is improving. And so this scenario here, I see this stuff here. This stuff here, became more than not uh, very, very realistic to me. Yeah, there is a, such a thing. There is a possibility of it that something like this could have happened to me. But definitely this one here, as Macron stated, it's going to be also funny and it's going to be the last message. And it's going to be the last message to the world about the guy who disappeared. This shit is not so funny. And this is not a schizophrenia. This is a proven case of torture under MK Ultra. The case that claimed 30 years of my life. It's not the highest profile ever. But it's the highest ability of a single individual ever to prove the issues that range all the way to the World War III concerning countries such as the United States of America, Britain, Germany. France, Italy, and others just 80 years after the World War II claimed no less than 80 million lives. That's all there is. But Prince William, you are the most disgusting creature that ever walked the earth. I cannot imagine somebody with so much money, with so much wealth, yet so sadistically mentally ill, degenerated, criminal individual as you are with your father 
to have gone to the degree such as, as far as this to portray me as what? What are you, little fuck you, British? I'm gonna portray me as you're a fucking nobody. Do you know that you are a fucking nobody? What are you, sir? You are a human flesh, a criminal who have accomplished in his life absolutely nothing other than to stand up next to the helicopter and whatever the fuck they dress you, clown as you are, who managed to impregnate a random lady from Britain to pose next to her with children. You are a fucking violent nobody in zero point nothing you will stay for as long as you're gonna live. A coward, a wild dog, hyena, with your uncle Andrew and brother Harry, so that you think what you're gonna what you're gonna celebrate. You want me to what to go? You wanna be like recognized? You wanna prove your leadership? Leadership based on what? On violence? Anybody who observed this crime against me? This here, so I was sure that I was writing to the girl today. This here. And it was actually this one here that Facebook had pushed forward. Exactly to MK Ultra scenario, to the abduction threat, to another abduction threat. This here. Anybody who observed this crime knows, saw it. Nothing other than stated in you sir you the only time you dare to approach me the only time you dare to approach me, you little piece of shit worm just like your father just like your uncle if i was joking other than that you never ever had a chance not a chance you had too many chances to correct your wrongdoings you didn't have a face you didn't have a guts you didn't dare because you're a fucking coward, scared to step in front of me. Stuff you did is what the cowards do. That's what wild dogs do. That's what, that's what when, when you have when you have a crowd and you're not single and you basically single out somebody. That's what the fuck you do. You're nothing. You're just a shit. In pants of the British state, which unfortunately see itself more than just corruption. British state is walking in shoes of German and neo Nazi Germany from eight years ago. British state is walking in a shoes of its unglorious imperialist colonial oppression which one walked against numerous nations in the history of the world those the most oppressed more exploited than french or italian colonialism was british that was the most murderous next to dutch most oppressive next to german next to dutch it was the most oppressive and the most murderous system in the world and that's exactly what you represent today when you step on a political stage when people see you regardless of geographical location just remember from this video they see in you exactly what i stated thanks for watching this video and this is here what i should be what what is this here i know a gorgeous girl from Korea from now she is in Busan yes I know her well, originally she's from Seoul I know gorgeous she is I know gorgeous girls all over the Asia that were involved in this MK Ultra crime and I don't want to associate them with you because they got nothing to do with you I'm Slovenian native I'm also American citizen who never ever went to Great Britain there's nothing great about Great Britain. What's great about Great Britain is exactly what I already stated.
You want to stick the nose where nobody even wants you, sir. You want to stick the nose into matters of other people that rejected you all the way. I never wanted to see Great Britain. I never wanted to go to Britain, Great Britain. I don't even, I even allow anybody to approach to me from Great Britain. Today. I don't allow anybody. Because I don't need anything from, from Great Britain. I already got everything from Great Britain. For as long as it's going to be a country that's going to use the police for the crime, but not to enforce crime, it's going to make exceptions. There are no exceptions to the crime. I don't need any people from a country like this. So that's all I want to state. This is low. This is a new low for this Central Intelligence Agency. She is American, this is Julie Carper. She is not British. This one here. I think she's American, actually. This is a CIA. This is a Central Intelligence Agency. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, all that stuff, yeah. Lorette de Mar, yes, of course, yes, indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smear campaigns, yeah. See ya, short. People, oftentimes appears, uh, is, appears prosecuted, and I don't know what in this and that. Oh, I'll be okay here. Uh... Interesting that Facebook doesn't allow me to post my links from Alcer Times. That's interesting stuff. That's interesting to note. But they will go and do espionage on a Facebook. Now that is something too. That's also interesting. That's also uh, notable stuff too. That's also notable. Yeah, for my accusing, uh, for my accusing Prince William of being hijacked, abducted, he replied in front of his Kate and how, well, you know, you're accusing me, you know, of, well, that is amazing. Look at that. Facebook have removed the restriction from my having the right to post the links. To the Facebook. That is quite, quite amazing. So I did manage to break through this criminal ways for Facebook to block the real testimony of MKOTRA torture person, which deprived me of 30 years of life. That's pretty damn cool. The possibility has in it that this girl, this Julie Harper, uh, could have been used by the British Royals through the Facebook uh, for something like this so that it would uh, appear during messaging another person on my messenger and I would mistakenly be sending her messages you know what I mean uh, but the thing about it is the thing about it this is not pleasant somebody asking is they're gonna shoot you you know that's bullshit um, The thing about it is that um, she lived isolated life in that Playa del Mar or whatever that is, that location. Her life right there was isolated. It was like, I remember her apartment 
I remember when she moved her previous locations and so on. I remember this place. And I was brought there, basically. It was like one of those MK Ultra, if you want to call it MK Ultra, you know, locations, dots, like opposed to or compared to Andrew Tete, let's say, in Romania, which a call center served as a total espionage center. It was nothing other than espionage that went on. They were intercepting phone calls and all kinds of stuff. They were referring people. Um, they were they were like gesturing like Romanian government. They are catching people that they are creating like a profiles of certain people that would be um, that would have like a not views and stuff like this so that they would get under the European and British surveillance and that kind of stuff and so on and so forth. Uh, that that's what they are fighting against. Uh, but the thing about it is that they were creating connections. They were they were creating a, like a criminal net. British were expanding their operations through like sex lines and shit like this. All kinds of orgies that went on there. I deem for every one of this American British located in other countries not to be nothing other than espionage. Nothing other than foreign espionage, nothing other than MI5, MI6, or Central Intelligence Agency espionage. That's all there was. That's all there was to it, with the people involved in it. I ain't got nothing else to say. I don't know how this is funny, uh, but it did remind me of Emmanuel Macron personally involved in this shit. During this operation, during this schizophrenic brainwash, schizophrenic based with the false domestic violence involvement accusation, totally false crap lies. It's unfucking believable stuff like this. How the fuck you do this? This is Walt Disney. This is a fucking Disneyland to realize stuff like this. This is this stuff was enforced against me as a psychiatry. I'm talking about. Forget about long term um, forced employment. It's not, a, it's not a concern big enough. But lovely with the through such a violations of the laws, international, domestic, here, Slovenian alone, state treated. I'm also American citizen, not only Slovenian. That is something unfucking believable, something out of this world. It's like fucking imagination. I'm not the one who is mentally ill. The mentally ill people are Prince William, Prince King Charles now, Andrew, Harry. This is in their heads. The fucking Walt Disney is rolling inside of their heads. You know what the Walt Disney states? You can do anything you want to do with the law, with the Constitution. You can go out there, you can fucking lie. You can write whatever the fuck you want. Hello, what's your name? My name is John. No. I don't know the paper. His name is Mark. What year is it? 2023. No. Write down. The year is 1960. That's a fucking world. That's a fucking schizophrenia. And it's your word, even if you request to be audio recorded in the interview against theirs and fuck you. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? You understand? That's a fucking schizophrenia. If you want to know what the schizophrenia is, that's the definition of the fucking schizophrenia. There are no bigger schizophrenics in this world than British royals. Jesus. Total Jesus violence.